Hey, hello everyone, and check out this game I have been playing. It's called World of Warships. I, it's in open beta right now, and it is a free-to-play game, so it really doesn't cost you anything to try this out other than the bandwidth of downloading and installing it. It's basically a game where you play as warships in fleet action against other players or AI opponents online if you wish to play that way, although the enemies in that version are kind of stupid. Human opponents are way harder to kill. So I'm going to go and jump into... Oh, I don't want to play as a South Carolina class. I have the Wyoming class, Phoenix class. I'm going to play as this Phoenix cruiser and jump into a random online battle. See what happens here. I can't guarantee I'm going to win this because some of these people play this game a lot more than me. And they could kick the crap out of me. Alright, uh... We seem to be pretty evenly matched. There's a phoenix in the opposite of me. I'm actually more upgraded than they are, so I have an advantage. Uh... Low times tend to take a little while in this game to get going. It is an online game, after all. These are battle sh uh, carriers, battleships, Cruisers, and there's a destroyer down at the bottom. Uh, this game is probably more realistic than, like, Battle Station Midway or any of those kinds of games. Um, not to say it is particularly realistic. Like, for example, I am using a cruiser from uh, maybe a little bit after the first. I, I haven't really, like... I'm not quite sure, but I think this is maybe like a post-World War I era cruiser. There'd be no reasonable way I should be expected to go and try and take on, like, a battleship, even of a, a contemporary battleship. But, you know, I'm going to. I'm gonna, uh, you have multiple different options for weapons here. High explosive rounds, armor piercing rounds. Torpedoes, which aren't loaded yet, they're loading up. High explosive rounds are basically for... This won't be a traditional match, but it's not for uh, There's a battle, enemy battleship over that way. Adam's out of my range, so I can't attack it just yet. Oh, there's another battleship up there. How come the battleships are so far forward? Usually battleships are so slow that they can't... Uh, get into battle after a while. Okay, there's a cruiser up there. I'm gonna start hitting it with um, high explosive rounds as soon as it shows itself. You have to lead your target by quite a bit. It's like the Call of Duty for the first minute. Oh, see, I'm missing. Nope, I gotta get it. Okay, pretty good. Right? Oh, they got me. Oh, they're getting so much better than mine. Broadsides. Yeah, they're, they're doing a lot better than I am. They're using armor piercing rounds as well. I probably should be using that. Torpedo strike. Oh, shit. There's a destroyer in the way. Oh, get out of the way, bro. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh, I hope he doesn't get hit by that shit. Oh, my steering gear is damaged. Oh. Okay, I really did a terrible job with that. I should be ashamed of myself. Okay, I'm gonna jump into a battle. It's a battleship, Wyoming class. Playing as a battleship is different, because battleships are much slower. They also have a slower rate of fire, so I won't be encountering the enemy quite so quickly. Also, um, heavier armor and heavier fire power. I'm basically the Punisher. I will pull in there and just start kicking the crap, but... I don't know, I may not want to maintain such a range against opponents that I would as a cruiser or something, because battleships have a heavy secondary armament uh, that you don't actually control while playing the game. I'm based off against the Wyoming on the other side. We're both fully upgraded. 
we have one additional carrier in comparison to the opponent, so that could potentially give us a pretty significant advantage. If I can manage to not get my ass blown up. Notice our ship's much bigger now. And the guns along the side, that's our secondary battery. That is going to, if I can get close enough to an enemy, within like five kilometers. Battle starts. The secondary armament will uh, start firing like um, will start to fire like independently of my control. I can't tell the secondary battery to fire. But it can uh, get, especially against smaller ships that get too close to me, it can really punish them. Notice how much slower we're going this time. Okay, the ship is slower moving. We have carriers both in the east and the west. Since we have one additional carrier in comparison to they do, hopefully they can coordinate with each other. Uh, they do have initial cruiser compared to us. Or two cruisers. Those <laughs> idiots in the Congress. Oh, heading straight to B position may be a mistake. And I've been detected. Out of range of my anti-aircraft fire. I don't want to just go and get myself... Because I can't maneuver very well in a battleship. I don't want to just throw myself into a situation where I'm surrounded. I also don't want to try and take on any destroyers on the place, because destroyers have a tendency to fire off the uh, torpedoes, and that's a bitch. You're out of my range. The range of this battleship is remarkably short. Okay, I'm going to switch to armor-piercing rounds. It's going to take about 20 seconds for it to reload with armor-piercing rounds, but I want to have armor-piercing rounds ready, because that battleship may be in range. And I don't want to... Oh, it's not. <laughs> I don't really want to... start launching high explosive rounds at a battleship. The game is a little screwy with its physics regarding when uh, it's a good time to use armor-piercing rounds or when it's a good idea to use high explosive rounds. Our team has taken the lead. For example... Oh, shit. Uh, Anti-aircraft fire. Go! Now ah, they're out of range. Oh, they're going to launch a torpedo attack against me. Turn into it. Oh, no, don't turn into it. Torpedo, direct front. Shit, yes, turn into it. Ah, them sons of bitches. Hull breach, we're taking on water quickly. Yeah, sure we are. Destroyer. Uh, Armor-piercing rounds aren't particularly good for these destroyers. That's what I have, so that's what I'm going to Torpedoes to port. Torpedoes, dead ahead. Okay, carrier, you need to help us out here. Problem solved, sir! Okay, somebody else is taking on the destroyer. We have battleships up here. Probably, uh, ah, oh, shit. Let's see. Me. I'm the cruiser. Physics are a little scary and when you should use it. For example, they, they tell you in the game not to use uh, people who play the game a lot of this tell you you shouldn't really try using uh, armor-piercing rounds at range. Oh shit, I lost it. We're all below the waterline! Yeah, We're flooding quickly! Fucking torpedoes. Guys, you gotta help us out here. We have two carriers versus one. They have to help us out. It's a necessity. It's the kind of game where teamwork is key. I have a second battleship here. We are working as a team, I would say. The damn carriers were not. The carriers are probably just escorting their damn bombers, and they're ignoring the fact that we're getting torn up by these damn torpedo guys. Okay, I did lose that one, I would say. That one was probably not my fault. <laughs> it's irritating. 
Okay, I'll play as a carrier, and I'll show you how to properly play as a carrier. The first loss was definitely my fault. Second one, I could definitely make the argument that it is not my fault. Here, we have two carriers versus one. That actually gave me a perfect opportunity to show you what I want to do. Now, playing as a carrier is dramatically different than playing as a battleship cruiser destroyer. One thing, I won't be controlling the ship from this point of view. It's going to zoom out to a sort of overhead map. And I'll be just sort of directing the ship as well as the planes. Here we go. I can control the ship using the WASD keys, but I'm not going to. Autopilot mode enabled. I'm basically just going to plot a course that doesn't involve me crashing into any islands. And letting the ship go at full speed. I am going to launch my two uh, my fighters and my torpedo bombers immediately. Group three, ready. Okay. Two, maintaining present course. Two is launched. That those are my fighters. My torpedo bombers are still moving up, and I'm going to move my. Uh, I can afford to be a Group little three. less maintaining cautious with my airplanes. So I'm going to send both my fighters and my bombers forward to scout enemy positions. Ah, oh, shit! None of my. Uh, None of my teammates are heading towards the position that I was heading, so I'll change position. I don't want to be stationary, because it's easy to destroy a stationary ship, especially an aircraft carrier. What I'm mostly, I'm right now I'm scouting, but what I'm going to end up doing with my fighters is seeking out enemy, enemy planes, specifically torpedo bombers and bombers, things that are a threat to uh, my allies' ships. And my torpedo bombers are going to just take attacks of opportunity on enemy ships. So there's a battleship. There is a cruiser. A battleship is easier to hit than a cruiser. Oh, check it out. Now that's a fighter. That's a squadron of fighters. Ship, ship. Stay away from the... Stay away from the destroyer. He's following my... Uh... Okay, take him out. I have a 50-50 chance of winning this fight. That's a that's a group of fighters, not not um, bombers or anything like that. So the only real threat that is is to my own torpedo bombers. But hopefully, I can take them down and then continue along my way. The enemy team has taken the lead. I'm actually my fighters are actually kicking their asses. It's great. I don't even have to return my uh, my fighters back to group three taking fire. See, there, I took out their fighters. I got uh, five planes shot down. Here, my torpedo bombers are going in for an attack against that cruiser. Cruisers are. Let's see, check it out. Torpedoes away. At least one of those are going to hit. At least one. Exactly one. Cause flooding is not going to be a big problem for them. actually dangerous to my fighters, but I want to get those torpedo bombers destroyed. So, keep, take them out, come on, take them out, take them out, take them out, okay, return to base. Oh, shit, okay, they're done. My, uh, my fighter squadron is finished. Okay, my uh, torpedo bombers have survived. My fighters will sort of regenerate. I have a, I have an additional... Um, what does that say? Three. Okay, my next squadron of fighters are ready. This is a full squadron. My next squadron, in the event that these are destroyed, will only be about half a squadron. But I already took out a... I took out a fighter squadron of theirs and a bomber squadron. So... They're at like 50% strength as it is. 
and I landed a torpedo strike. So I am. Um, I say I'm uh, in pretty good condition here. My torpedo bombers are being reloaded. They've lost two cruisers, we've only lost a destroyer. So we're definitely in the lead here. Now I'm probably not going to be able to get too much damage in on enemy ships, at least until I know that I've managed to take out their... Um, until I know I've managed to take out their airplanes or aircraft. Okay, those are torpedo bombers. But one of the big things about using a aircraft carrier is being able to protect your own ships, your own allies from enemy aircraft, like what I'm doing right here. If I can take out these guys, they won't be able to damage that battleship, which is clearly what they're trying to do. In fact, they're desperately trying to send these fighters over here to try and... Okay, I'm actually going to change direction on this one. Because they've already got their torpedoes away. I was a little late in the game on that. to keep fighting. They're down Group fighters, three. so we're under attack. Ammunition. So I'm sending them back. They are trying to position that battleship probably to prevent me from launching a torpedo strike. So I gotta strafe around them a little bit. Try and line up a shot, because I want to hit broadsides on this thing. I don't wanna I wanna try keeling in an attack. Okay, this might not work. I am a little close. Planes are gonna swoop around like idiots. Ah, a damn uh, ally here just got blown up. Okay, attack. No, no. Group three, approaching yes. target. Group oh three, God! Taking Don't fire. reposition yourself before you launch the torpedoes. What's wrong with you? Group three, returning. Well, looks like one torpedo hit him right in the keel. Wow, that was uh, surprising hit. Well, I got some damage in, not nearly as much as I wanted, and we we're definitely going to win this fight, but... Okay, um, this is the last of my fighters, but I don't think they're really even necessary anymore. I am out of Group Two, maintaining present course. The only thing fighters are useful for in combat, at least, is attacking enemy aircraft. Oh, their carriers over there, making a suicide run to try and capture B. Not going to survive it. <laughs> Probably because they're out of out of aircraft, they can't really do any offense anymore. Just uh, desperately trying to be make themselves useful. And that destroyer is going to fuck them up. I took down 21 aircraft, which is probably nearly the entire enemy uh, carrier's complement of planes. Oh, my target's just landed. So, I mean, I've basically taken their carrier out of commission without actually destroying it. Which is why it's doing the suicide run. Oh! You want boom! Look at that. They still have a couple of torpedo bombers. Apparently the other carrier is doing absolutely nothing to to defend our team. Teamwork. Teamwork. It's like the game Left for Dead, how you had to work as a team in order to uh, 
order to play the game properly. I don't care if they've already launched Maintaining the, the torpedoes. I want them dead. I want that. I want that squadron. Take them out. Group two, taking fire. Got him. Awaiting instructions. And we win. Now I didn't destroy any ships. I did get a couple of torpedo hits. But I didn't destroy any ships, but I did get a pretty good score out of it. Because I shot down 23 planes. That's a lot of planes. It caused flying in two ships because of the two torpedo hits. And I hit something while it was defending while it was attacking a bait, so I got a defended bait. So this isn't a terribly good score. A good score would be maybe four or five thousand stars. But, you know. Uh, we have one more thing. Uh, what do we got? Uh, I have a destroyer over here. We haven't done anything with a destroyer yet. Destroyers are much, much smaller ships. It's going to be the fastest ship you're going to see me play as here. It's also heavily dependent on being able to launch torpedo attacks. So that's... Uh, I'm going to try and get close to enemy ships, and then launch torpedo attacks. It's unfortunate that, uh, I mean, in real life, you wouldn't want to be taking a destroyer in the battle against a battleship or something. But destroyers themselves are, in this game are really good against aircraft carriers. A bunch of destroyers on one team can harass aircraft carriers. Look at this. I got... Look at this widescreen on torpedoes. High explosive and, end and armor piercing. Armor piercing is terribly useful Action for stations. destroyers, but, you know, whatever. And these things are so quick that I can maneuver through these islands over here. Hopefully whip around the back and maybe take out their enemy aircraft carriers. Sinking a carrier in real life sinking a carrier would be a, a pretty good tactical move, tactical victory, even a strategic victory since carriers are kind of rare. And carriers tend to not be armored, or if they're armored, fairly lightly armored, so high explosive rounds are almost a must, almost. Uh, hitting them with high explosive rounds has a tendency to set ships on fire. An aircraft carrier with its flight deck burning is a carrier that cannot launch or receive planes. So you can pretty much, for a short time anyway, take a carrier semi out of commission by setting its deck on fire. Okay, we have a... Um, the two, my two fellow destroyers are both racing north. They're heading a little more of a direct route than I am going down. I'm going this way hoping to avoid any sort of enemy opposition until I can get to the northern end of the map. Hopefully my speed can get me there without too much of a problem. Looks like uh, there are planes over on the eastern side of the map. Hopefully they don't send anything this way. Other torpedo bombers in particular are useless against carrier or destroyers because destroyers are so maneuverable I can usually avoid their attacks. We have torpedo bombers heading this way too. They, it seems like they probably have the same idea that I do. They want to move around the side, loop around the left side, and attack the enemies from the north. I do say they have a cruiser that might potentially be a problem. It's not really heading in this direction, it looks like they might be base defending. But, you know. I can't launch over these things. I'm gonna get close and then launch torpedoes. I still don't know where the enemy carriers are, though. They haven't been revealed yet. Nobody's scouted them out. They're probably staying way back there. Like I had done, and like our team carriers are doing. You're out of range. 
probably won't even see me here, so I'm gonna go. I might be completely undetected. That is a battleship. Shit. Oh, there's a carrier. Boom. Okay, race your ass there. Once I come under fire, I'm going to hit the Y key, which is sort of like acceleration, and I'm going to hit the T key, which unleashes a smoke cloud uh, once I get a little closer, so I won't be... Uh, so I won't be getting harassed by the battleships that are staying by to defend. Hopefully this island provides me for a little bit more cover. And I'm not going to fire at any of the battleships or anything like that. I do not want to attract attention to myself. You don't want to send up. Okay, yeah, okay. They're almost in range. I will fire on the carrier, though. I do want to get some damage in and set that some bitch on fire. Flank, bitches, flank. Engine boost activated. Ooh, 36.5. Five knots. Short range attacks. Come on, get your ass over here. Doesn't look like their battleships are in a position to even attack it. That's great. No, let it target by too much. A little bit too much. Taking out a carrier, I love it. I want a plunging shot to land on his flight deck. That's what I really want to see now. If I can take out the flight deck, then they can't launch planes. Not that I expect planes to be particularly useful against them. Smoke generator started. What? <laughs> Screen set. What? Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, come on, you got that one there, bro. Got him on fire. Now they're not useful for, uh. It looks like they're gonna maybe try and do a torpedo or a bomber run against me. Engine boost deactivated. Oh, that battleship is fucking me up. Got him with torpedoes. Problem solved, sir. If I can maybe. Got him. Now I'm kind of I'm gonna get fucked up here. So hopefully I can swing around. Critical engine damage! Get a torpedo strike off on this battleship. No. Nope. Huh. Well I took out the carrier. That uh, I'm gonna make a pretty good score here. Destroying the carrier, 14 shell hits, one set of fire, six torpedo hits, five flooding, one critical damage. Hit. So, I'm probably going to create a pretty good score here with my little destroyer. And we are pretty much in the lead here. We've kicked some pretty good ass here. Uh, it's a pain in the ass because too many of the enemy's uh, ships stayed on defense. And I can sit here and sort of uh, watch the battle unfold from the different perspectives of ships on the other side. It's a battleship that fight three so we don't have a chance against it. South Carolina. Um, our team is definitely, definitely has the advantage at this point. Here we have a, I guess it's a destroyer, a Japanese destroyer. 
seems a little timid, doesn't want to get too... Oh, you're attacking on this side. It's trying to take out that carrier. Nice. Huh, destroyer up there. Oh, you're too far away. Uh, it's difficult to aim torpedoes, because you still have... You have to lead your target by quite a ways. Yeah, their trajectory isn't quite as easy to distinguish. And they have a very limited range. Some of them are like only 6 kilometers, some of them are 8, I think, and they're 10 is a longer range. Should have just gotten close. Damn that freaking battleship over there. Get close, take out that carrier. Although I do have hopes that he will hit. Will he hit? He's pretty close. Oh, he did hit! Wow! You are better at this than me. gonna swing in and try and do it again. Oh, that battleship is now on there. Although his aim sucks. It's difficult for a battleship to engage a destroyer to destroy his official task and to zip around like what he was doing there. Trying to reposition himself so the heavy ship won't... Oh, no, nope, that will avoid that torpedo. It looks like a... I don't remember... There you got him. Very nice. Both carriers down. Just the battleships remaining. And the carrier aircraft is still in the sky, but I'm not sure what effect on this they're gonna have. Okay, yeah, that is too far off there. There's no way that battleship's gonna stay in position because it's gonna have to turn to avoid that island. But whatever. I hate enemies who play defensively. Because they basically like they hop, they guys hiding over here. Doesn't have to hide anymore, I guess. Doesn't really matter. Our guys are. Is this guy not even playing? Freaking AFK. Battleship on battleship combat. New York class. I'm hoping to get that soon. Again, so I'm not sure what that is he's facing over there. But it is fighting back, although our New York here is definitely has the advantage. Oh, this was me. That was the guy that destroyed me. Oh, jeez. Finish his ass off. Really, we're going to leave it up to this destroyer to take down the uh, enemy battleship? Oh, that battleship's under fire from another battleship. Good. He's under fire from a battleship. He may avoid, or he may ignore the, the destroyer trying to take it out. Oh, that St. Louis is moving now. Okay. It takes it like a minute and a half for a battleship to reload. The spread on battleships is sometimes really ridiculous. You need, you need to balance this game out and get that over for the final release, but I think the game's pretty fun. It's turning out to be pretty good. Should all be armor piercing in this range. In reality, you wouldn't be firing. Uh, I mean, two kilometers away is too close for a battleship to be size to be engaging an enemy with the main battery, but whatever, it's just a game. In St. Louis is going to fight for the battleship too. Probably actually going to get the kill. Provided it can land in that fix. Oh, oh, what? There we go. And we won. Even though I didn't survive to the end, I did a pretty good job sinking that, uh, see here, a decent score. Not a terribly good score, but... I think I, uh, pulled my weight well enough by taking out a ship that was worth quite a bit more than mine was. Anyway. 
Ah, there we go. This game, World of Warships. I'm gonna keep playing after I shut the camera off, though. So, have fun not watching me anymore.